Research Shows Podcast. Hello, hello, hello. You are listening to Don M. Williams, and this is my two cents. We're going to get right into this. This is an open letter to Maryland uh, PG County State's Attorney Aisha Brave Boy. Good afternoon. This email is so ridiculously long, I decided to make it a transcript for another podcast episode. I know people would rather have an audio version than read a novel. I feel very strongly about this subject. So here is the link. Miss Brave Boy, just a simple Google search of your credentials made it very clear that there is no way possible that you cannot understand this man's legal perspective. You just don't care. And before you take the stance of thinking that caring is a feeling, understand that it is an action verb, just like the word love. So you mean to tell me this man served the country in the military, worked for the government in the Department of Homeland Security, had a Georgetown Law School, um, come in and do a full documentary, which got his sentence reduced. And that's at tinyurl.com forward slash look it up for, and that's the number four. Has the evidence that one of his attackers was high on coke, had more than 10 prior pedophilia assault and robbery convictions, and was in his daughter's room. Never discharged his gun during his career in law enforcement until the day of the attack. Had proof his attackers grabbed his weapon. Had a prosecutor who knew the aforementioned evidence about his attackers hidden from the jury to guarantee winning of this high profile case so that he could be promoted to judge. And here you are sitting in a position to give this man what he is legal and legally entitled to and you refuse to do so like are you serious looking at your credentials i don't have to cite any legal doctrine case law or statutes in this email further than the castle doctrine alone because you have the exact same google and access to lexus nexus that i have Allah put you in this position for a reason. When I saw this ridiculous display and I put the link, um, and you could go to this by going to um, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E forward slash research shows podcast. And it's the first video. When I saw this ridiculous display of the mimicking of white supremacy, a.k.a. a smear campaign. It prompted me to interview this man for my podcast, episode 81. I was watching a black woman, his opponent, in the county that I grew up in, use the same whisper campaigns that MLK, that had MLK labeled as a terrorist, all for what? For a position on Massa's plantation? Yeah, I said it. The 13th Amendment literally is written to say slavery was abolished except if you're a criminal. And here we are as black folk labeling him a criminal to be accepted by a group, white supremacists, who don't accept us as equals and quite frankly never will. It was just 2019 when a, Demi- when a Democratic delegate Call our county, the nigger district. This Keith A. Washington case resonated with me because this happened in a Maryland county that I grew up in. The fact that I was proud of sim- the fact that I was proud of um, simply because of the fact that there's so many educated black people in this county that got money. We are the, literally the Jeff- Jeffersons and the Huxtables all in one. But as I grew up and moved away, I realized that we as black folk have assimilated to the same culture 
our ancestors were forced to be in and literally mimic white supremacy to the T. I realized that once I had to fight the state and the federal government by myself because no black person in government would assist me and my children. They were attacked five to ten times monthly in Calvary County until given permission by whites in leadership to intervene. This was over the span of almost two years. Hogan got plenty of emails and simply did not care. So I am confused. Are black people in high positions just as a face? Like how we deem Clarence Thomas as a coon? Yeah, I said it. Because there are there were plenty of democratic black people who stood and waited until Master, aka Daniel Curry, who resigned, said it was okay to come in and help me. And that was after clear proof that I had a winnable case with the Office of Civil Rights for Education with each assault that continued to occur. The whisper campaigns are what propelled the attacks. It was whisper campaigns that propelled the attacks. I was initiating charges against everyone. We got up to 15 or 20 people. My kids was whooping ass at school. And I was whooping legal ass in courts with the adults. We tore Calvert County to shreds. Um, Bullying in Calvert. Yola site. Y-O-L-A-S-I-T-E dot com. I had to create a website in 2020. Because the state and federal government refused to intervene. While my children were being subjected to racist attacks. By the same system that we pay into. The funny part about the funny part about how I knew how to fight these people was because I used to I was used to fighting my own people in my own county because they had mastered mimicking white supremacy. I was proficient in understanding case law, how to write motions independently, and how to leverage everything using one website. I created due to fighting my own people in PG County. This unilaterally halted the racist attacks to include a package being mailed to my house due to um, due to these crazy people not willing to be exposed on account of protecting the Grand Wizard of the KKK, aka the superintendent at that time. Yeah, I said it. I'm writing this email because. There were very few people who wrote an email on my behalf because of fear of retaliation. This is a disgusting system that our ancestors were forced into. And here we are going through this. This ain't the Freddie Gray case. This is a man who literally gave his life for his country. The prosecutor of the case literally got a promotion after his case to judge. This is some HBO documentary stuff. That we hear about in different counties. Not PG County. Not my county. I cannot believe you are sitting on this case. With the power to do something. And you don't care. Have a wonderful day Don M. Williams. I am DonMWilliams.com And I have to follow up with how I feel. Um, anybody who knows Don M. Williams. Knows I don't have no cut cards. I do not care. And I want to go in detail with another situation that I, um, I'm a business owner in PG County right now. When I say had to fight my own people in PG County, I'm literally talking about two different commercial landlords that I was fighting so bad. And I'm still attending to one of them. And people automatically assume everybody I talk to be like, oh, that's a, um, oh man, that must have been a white on or not these is black people them is black people both owners of both commercial locations black people that literally was fighting me as if we was on a plantation and i'm paying them this is this is contract this ain't even i'm an employee i'm a business owner paying you rent and they was going hard like it was crazy 
I had to understand how to utilize systems. Um, you know, when I say utilize systems, I mean utilize county, local, municipality because I'm paying. I'm paying them to come in and help me. And I will say also Brooks is excellent. I do. And she's going to be included on this email. I will say her office is excellent. They always respond. It's no question whether or not Angela also Brooks um, is going to respond. It's no question. No question. No question. I cannot complain about that office. But I will say something about Hogan. He put in place in regards to things to cover the state so the state can't get sued. It's clear. They did not care. They did not intervene in what was going on. And this situation right here is cause for intervention. Now, I'm probably going to do another episode in regards to um, the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms and how it goes into the militia and slavery and all different kind of stuff. And why this man was had a horrible sentence imposed upon him that exceeded what was standard. Like he got like a 45 year sentence or something. So they reduced it. Why was it a reduction? That's an admission that something's wrong. Something is wrong. And I believe that was a movie with Denzel Washington. I can't remember the name. It might have been The Great White Hope. I forgot what it was. But when he was in prison, I remember it was a statement he made. This is before I understood white supremacy. And he was saying, this was years ago. What did he say? It was something like he was saying, people's career was built on the back of my um, conviction. You mean to tell me black folk? I mean... I mean, this was a black prosecutor. Like, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Coon is not a label just for Republican black people. It is not because we seeing it, man. That's disgusting. And that man go to sleep every night, whoever that judge was. And if he listened to it, I don't care because that's on Keith Washington's site. I'm going to put everything under this um, under this YouTube, um, on the links, I'm gonna put everything, all the links, all, all the, so you could read. He already have his um, his website, Mister Washington. This is this is disgraceful. That that's a black man that sat there and got promoted to judge after this. Like this, what we see in, in what they were talking about in the Rodney King case, so where you know they was beating the black man and said, "Don't believe your lying eyes." And here we are. You talking about PG County? I mean, see, see, this hit home for me. I'm. This hit home for me. We grew up in, in a bubble. I grew up in a bubble. I didn't know how much of a bubble PG County was. So I moved out of PG County because we're looking for something where it's decent affordable housing. I'm way out Lusby. Way out Lusby. And for me to realize, my God, I the America that's here in Calvary County is not what I grew up in. It was hitting a little more. Yeah, absolutely. But the reason, the thing, what I was saying is we mimic it because there's no way i should have known how to fight these white supremacists down here the way they ganged up against me they they ganged up against me i had the police against me everybody was like they didn't want no parts of us and i didn't care i didn't care my kids was kicking ass in that school you hear me they was getting in fights multiple times monthly both children it was crazy it's the crazy stuff i ever seen in my life it's some stuff you would never believe and none of them black people intervened. And I just took it as a count of, oh, these people is watered down because they Calvary County. You know, they grew up around these races. So they think, you know, they can't intervene. They don't want to ruin friendships. And here we are. I'm looking at this case with this black man. Like, this a black man? Got, did you see his house? Look look at the document. He got this house in Waldorf, Aquakeet. Banging house. Worked for the Department of Homeland Security. A black prosecutor. Promoted the judge. I wonder what the jury looked like. I wonder what the jury in PG County looked like. You got a freaking crackhead. This, excuse my language. And I mean it when I say this nigga was on crack. This nigga had cocaine in his freaking system. In his system. I mean, are you serious? It's, it's labeled. Look at the freaking rap sheet. I saw assault charges, burglary, all this stuff, pedophilia. It was a sexual battery. F- I mean, like, who the heck, who is instructing you to not move forward on this? I'm And, and I'm serious. Like, this is crazy. Like, I had to get down to these psychos down here in, in, in Calvary County. I had to sit here and think. 
after it was a year, I think it was a, it was going on a year with the attacks because we had entered into a new school year and it was the same thing. And I kept saying, my God, and I'm not saying my child was perfect. Don't get me wrong. I know my child, believe me, but how the whole county ganged up. It was crazy. It was crazy. And, um, I'm like, dang, this is a year. It hit me. They following instructions, man. Somebody giving some type. I ain't know if they giving a, what type of order. It was a, a client had to break this down to me. This is about whisper campaigns. This is about whisper campaigns. They and I ain't found out this how far it, it went with this witch. It was a principal I was fighting. Um, this stupid principal went and did a restraining order based on false pretenses. Do you hear me? Based on false pretenses. And that's when I found out what she was spreading to all her teachers and all the students. And that's what made sense why my child was being attacked. The oldest one was being attacked the most. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she made up so many lies. It was crazy. It was crazy. 2020 was wild. And only my only saving grace was I found a lady. Her name was Blevins, a white woman. And her kids was under attack. And she was in the middle of suing the school system. Um, it was a white woman, but she hurt. She wasn't for the racist stuff. So she's saying she didn't like the fact that they were just loosely using, you know, the N word and all this different stuff. And they went every time she had a meeting at the board of education, they was attacking her children. It was like clockwork whisper campaigns. And here I am watching this man's opponent, his opponent. I don't even know this lady's name. If she listened, I don't even care what your name is, man. That was disgusting. That, I don't know who your friend is that post that Joan on TikTok, And I'm glad I seen it i'm glad i seen it that was disgusting man she sat there the way she did it the way she worded it i kept saying she reworded his charge yeah and and that was to get everybody on her side and when i said it don't sound right it sound weird like this whole thing sound crazy and it implored me to do a google search most people ain't gonna do a google search that's why whisper campaigns work that's why they work and I don't give a dang on about what campaigns. I don't care who the heck get in leadership at this given point in time because elections is tomorrow. The the time of this recording, I'm looking at this is 137 on Sunday, uh, 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 July 17th. I don't even care who get in. on. I think that's Tuesday. That's the day of the election. This issue is still an issue and it's a problem. And Miss Brave Far, if you actually listen for this long, if you were sitting in leadership, a law puts you in that position for a freaking reason. It is not to be a face. It is not to be a brown face. It is not to just be connected with your uh, sorority. It is not just to be connected with all your homeboys you sit in, um, in court with and trying not to rub people the wrong way. This is a this is a man, man. This is somebody who serves the country. He supposed to be on y'all side. This is why they went against Mosby. They went against Mosby because she went against the police. And I'm not saying she was wrong for what she's doing because she caught up in her own mess right now. But this man is literally on y'all side. Like this is like a, a a whole nother level of fraternity sorority type stuff. You talking about law enforcement, judges, lawyers. Y'all kick it together. That's like me in the beauty supply store. I mean, y'all is all in the same career thing. I'm an owner of a hair salon. So my whole thing is, you mean tell me this man worked for the Department of Homeland Security? He worked for the Department of Homeland Security? He he served in the military, giving his life for this country that don't give an F about him. Clearly, goes in and tells the truth in court, has a freaking a lawyer who was scared, probably scared, because I experienced that too. That's why I got good at writing my own motions. I, I wouldn't even allow my lawyer to write no motions. I write the motion and you just show up. That's how I got, because I ain't even trust my own freaking lawyer, because of stuff like this. He did all this, and then they still put him in jail. 45 years? What? What? Man, bump this, man. Fix this, for real. You got the power to fix this. You you fall hard to get in that position in this stage in your career. And you got the power to fix it. And so do Hogan. Hogan listens to this. I already know he don't give a F. But you got the power to push something, man. Use your power, man. Make your name resonate with something. Because I ain't know who you was until he said it. Just like I ain't know who he was till that whisper campaign got kicked off. Make your name a legacy. I highly suggest, please, make it a legacy because this is trifling, man. This is trifling. All right, we're going to take one commercial break and I'm going to exit out. Mm-hmm. 
Productions. Thank you. Anybody who's still listening, I got episodes daily, 12 p.m. We got My Two Cents at Technology for Seniors, where we help seniors with technology. Friday, um, 4 p.m. Eastern, we do um, entrepreneurs, where we interview entrepreneurs and, you know, all their different business ventures. And then Monday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern, we have the morning show with the morning crew, where we talk about a whole lot of different things, from politics to pop culture to um, real estate and everything like that so um don't forget everything including um what well, everything can be found at the research departments with an s.com i hope everybody has a wonderful day on purpose <laughs>